guys, it's Arrow. I'm back with the full update video, and we're gonna talk about all the things that went down in this update. So, first of all, we got these new hero abilities. Let's check out these stats. My ability is level 2, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's not level 8, but so it says the damage increase is 24%, which is awesome. Speed increase 19, totally awesome too. And summon troops is 4 for barbarians. So now we got the archer queen who's also ability level 2, and her uh, invisibility time is 3 seconds, and she also summons 4 troops. And they are archers, obviously. So, uh, I haven't found any gem boxes yet, like the thing said. But, uh, I'm sure they'll be around. Ooh, I think this thing is done. So I'm actually going to hide it so no one can destroy it. And hopefully we'll save it for a long time. Because I think when someone taps on it next, I think it's going to be gone forever. So hopefully we can keep those. And we'll try and see how long that lasts. And also, the level 6 goblins. Now I don't have them, but I will leave a link in the... Uh, description below for a video that I know bought them. Uh, I watch his videos, he's pretty cool. Uh, so you should definitely go check him out. And I'll leave a link for him. And also, we're gonna do a uh, raid right now. So let's just get to this. And after this, I will show you the details on this update. So uh, I'm gonna look for a raid, and if it's not here in the next two clicks, I will meet you guys back here. And... Nope, I will meet you guys back here in just a second. Okay guys, this is the base we are going to take on. Uh, it's a Town Hall 10, and it is stacked with loot. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it all, and uh, let's go for it. So first we're going to drag out this Archer Queen and this Barbarian King. So we are going to drag them out behind this laboratory back here. Hopefully we can get this done as fast as possible. And come on. Okay, so we're just going to try and take these guys out. Okay, now it's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to uh, take out some of these buildings over here. We'll drop some goblins so it would be a little easier. Take out some of these mines. And we can send these giants in as soon as these buildings are gone. So this should be a pretty easy raid, I think, actually. And I'm actually going to save some archers so we can try that new thing. Uh, so here this goes. We're going to drop two wall breakers to help them out. And we're going to drop a raid spell to help those guys out. You're going to drop some goblins, send them in there. I want you to drop another wall breaker. And hopefully those giants will go back around. And now I'm going to send my heroes in. And as you can see, that's the icon it shows after uh, when you can do the abilities. So in just a second, I'm actually going to put on this ability and see what we can do with it. So, put down a rage spell here. Put down my Barbarian King thing. And, uh, my Archer Queen is being targeted, so I'm not gonna put her down yet. And, uh, so far we took all that Dark Elixir. Holy crap. And, uh, once she starts being targeted, I am gonna let this go. And put down another rage spell as soon as it is required. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna put down a raid spell here. I mean, I'm gonna put down that Arch Queen invisibility thing, and wow, that is super sick. It does so much, like, it just does a really good job of distracting. And I'm gonna put down a raid spell for her, so hopefully she can take out these this cannon and stuff around here. And those archers are gonna do awesome. Hopefully we'll be able to take out this entire base. I'm not sure yet because they still have some cannons and my Arch Queen is a little weak. But you know what? Oh, we actually, time is up. But you know what? It was awesome raid, right, guys. We got so much loot and look at that deep, uh, Dark Elixir. And you guys saw some awesome ability uses. So I'm just going to re-request because I wasted that clan castle. But only a couple troops were released. And we are going to queue up some more troops. And I am going to meet you guys. Actually, no, I think that's all we're going to do for this video. We're going to look at some other raid uh, update things. And then I'm going to let you guys go. Hold on, just queue up my troops. Put one, two, three. I'm really big on, like, troop time efficiency. So, 40 and 100. How much did I put in there? Yeah. So now we're going to do 10 22. And almost done. And actually, we have quite a bit of troops left over. Oh, wait. Yep, I calculated that wrong. We are going to put 25 in each. Or not. I don't know, let's take two away. Okay, so we're actually gonna go look at the update screen because I think that's probably the most helpful. I always love to do it, so let's okay, check this guys, out. we're back. Uh, this is the update screen. We already know all this stuff at the top here, so we're gonna go down and check out the other stuff. Uh, so it says chat is now available whenever you're away from your village, such as when you're visiting and watching replays, which I know that wasn't available before, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, army camps, spell factories, and clan castle now display used capacity next to their name when they're selected. So I guess that's convenient now you don't have to click on how many info to figure out how many troops are in your army camps. Uh, raid spells now correctly indicates the damage percentage increase 30% instead of 130%. So uh, I didn't notice it before, but that's good. Uh, obstacles can now be clear in edit mode. That was really important because if you're trying to move around your stuff and there's an obstacle in your way, you couldn't clear it and you had to exit, so uh, that's good. And the tweaks are decrease the upgrade cost and time of freeze spell level 3 and 4. That's just so they could bring in the level 5. Decrease rage spell level 5 uh, damage bonus from 80 to 70. I think they're going to bring in a... Uh, level 6 rage spell now. That's just my speculation. Because, uh, they're trying to decrease the cost. So maybe that'll be, like, a little thing there. And then the increased hog rider training cost by 30 on all levels. I don't really like that because I think hog riders are already been buffed so much. But whatever. Uh, the... Valkyrie hit points increased, which is good because they were the one of the weaker Dark Lecture troops and uh, increased P.E.K.K.A. hit points. Uh, that's just them trying to bring back the Go Wipe. So we're going to go check out some of the details of that that they just told us in Clash of Clans. So as you can see right here, this says one of four spells. So that really shows us that it's a lot easier. I can click here and it's 220 out of 220. And uh, we're going to go to a top player. I'm going to try that clan thing from the side now. Yes, we can do that. We can't donate from here. But if you see this, let's check out the stats for the ability level 8. Uh, so the damaging is increased by 50. 
the, sn the speed increase is 25 and the summon troops is 10 so that's awesome I don't think I'm ever gonna have level 40 heroes but maybe I'll go to level 15 soon maybe I'll gem them sneak peek hint hint uh, <laughs> now uh, this is the Archer Queen her ability time is six seconds which is also really that's really long actually so I think that's gonna leave uh, that's gonna make a big difference in high level gameplay not maybe not for us but and they also do 10 summon troops so I uh, I think that's all we're gonna do for today so make sure to subscribe like and comment and I will see you guys later